We're moving into a world where you will soon be able to plan trips, shop, even talk to intelligent bots, all from within your Skype chat. And you see I have a visual video mail from, from Gurdip. I'm going to play it. Hey, I just learned that you've been asked to keynote Codex again this year. Congratulations and thanks for everything you do for Skype. You're seeing here, there are some new things in this next generation of Skype. You see this visual video mail. So we have a video message with the transcript right below. This is one of the examples where we're taking intelligence from things like Skype Translator and bringing them directly into everyday features like video messages. So in this next generation of Skype, the other thing that you'll notice in the canvas is my personal assistant, Cortana, is always there in the upper right-hand corner. Cortana is there if I want to talk to her one-on-one -on -one or in a group, or even as you can see here, she's subtly improving my messages by highlighting key points in my text. So now you see Cortana is actually sending me a private message. I'm going to tap that and I go into the one-on-one -on -one conversation I have with Cortana. So she's telling me the Cups and Cakes bot would like to know my location for delivery, and yes, I'll share it. The agent, Cortana, is actually brokering the conversation with the third-party bot, the Cups and Cakes bot. Um, now I see this rich card that is showing me that the cupcake is on its way and that it will be here within a few minutes. All of this is happening within my Skype chats. This is just one example of the many ways that you're going to start seeing businesses using the power of Skype and Cortana to interact with their customers. Now, since I'm already talking to Cortana and I've committed to doing this keynote, I'm going to go ahead and try to plan the rest of my trip. Now Cortana is proactively thinking about the next steps in coordinating my trip. So she's actually suggesting that I connect with the Weston bot. Anybody that knows me knows I normally stay at a Weston bot. Um, and so what you see here now is Cortana has actually introduced the Weston bot into the conversation. Uh, but not only has she done that, she has given the Weston bot context. So I don't have to repeat myself. The Weston bot knows this is for Dublin and it's for those particular dates. All of this saves me a lot of time and effort. And now, because Cortana has all my relevant details, the Weston bot can actually leave the conversation. Now we're seeing a third aspect of Cortana. She knows my connection. She knows who I communicate with. And so here you're seeing her actually suggest that when I go on this trip to Dublin, that I communicate with my friend, Jannie. Um, and I see this card. I could call her directly from here or video call her, but I don't know what time it is, and so I'm going to choose to message her. Clicking that takes me to the conversation I have with Jani. The other thing you'll notice is that Cortana, because she has context about why I'm pinging Jani, uh, she's pre-populated the text with context around when I'm going to Dublin and basically why I want to talk to her. So this is just a glimpse into how Skype and Cortana, powered by Bing, can make our conversations more productive, informed, and fun.